Okay, sorry my mistake. I forgot to show you I add stopping here. I forgot to add stopping in this hand. But it still stay plum because I have a lot of yarn inside. Remember when I saw the uh, microphone? There's quite a lot of yarn inside going through and fro. So, <laughs> so sorry. So you add stopping just a bit, not so much. Just about here. Just plumb up this part here. So both hands this this part so this time when you add stuffing you make sure you push the stuffing to the tip here the toes the legs here and make sure you bring out that extra yarn the yarn that i intend to keep for sewing to attach this to the head so now I'm going to move on to the ear. For the ear, you will need blue and purple. I found this blue goes well with this purple. I mean there's so many types of blues and purple in the market area. So this is kind of light purple and light blue. Okay, so we're going to start with the purple. I'm gonna start off by making a magic ring. You're gonna curl it around your finger. Make a hook, uh, sorry, make a knot or whichever way you're comfortable with. So inside this magic ring, you're gonna do six single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six single crochet into the magic ring. And now I'm going to do increase. I go to the first stitch. And do increase. So I have six single crochet in the first row. So now I do increase. I only do I'll do three increase in purple and three increase in blue. And this is my second increase. This is my third increase. So the last one here, do not yarn over, you yarn over with the blue. Yarn over with the blue, you go to the next stitch, make sure you bring along the blue tail to kind of lock it. And then you do increase, continue to do the increase. Just now we did three increase in purple. Now we do three more increase in blue. So all in, you're gonna have six increase, which brings you to 12 stitches. Okay, so you're gonna look like this. So this tail, you can just leave it inside the ear. So now for row 3, row 3, I'm going to do single crochet followed by an increase. So this one here, remove it, remove the yarn. So I'm not going to bring this when I crochet because it's so small. I'm just going to pull it from over this side to the other side when I need it. So I'm gonna do one single crochet. Increase. Increase means two single crochet into the same stitch. You see I did not bring the blue yarn. I leave it here. So I'm gonna do Single crochet, 
increase single and increase so the last increase oops oh, okay hold on so the last increase I'm not gonna yarn over I'm gonna use I'm gonna change it back to blue so the blue is at the other side bring it over hold it tight and just hold it here so that here will not pull too much and this one will loosen you just pull tight pull tight here the blue purple and we continue one single crochet one increase one single crochet one increase single crochet oops increase same thing when you reach here this half of it will be in blue half of it will be in purple so every time when you come to the end of this line, do not yarn over, you yarn over with the new color. So you let go of the blue, pull the purple from here, hold it, and yarn over. So now, for row, row 4 until row 6, I'm going to do single crochet all around. So you just do one single crochet all around make sure you change color at these two spots. So half of it will be in blue, half of it will be in purple. So I'll come back to you once I'm at the end of row 6. Okay, this is how it looks like. So now the last row, I've reached here, I should change it back to purple. Make sure you have one finger holding here before you yarn over so that it won't pull too tight. And here you make sure you pull a bit because it's kind of loose. And this round, the last row, I'm going to do single crochet followed by a decrease. This is my one single crochet and then do a decrease. single crochet decrease single crochet decrease so here since it's a decrease I just go to the next stitch and do one single crochet before I start to do a decrease I did single crochet so the next one should be a decrease single crochet decrease single crochet and decrease So you can go to the next stitch, do a slip stitch and chain one, kind of lock it. So the blue color, I'm going to leave a short tail. As for the purple color, I'm going to leave a long tail or sewing. I need to sew this to the head, so I'm going to leave purple. So this blue part here, the tail here, I can just tie it to this tail. Just tie a knot and leave it inside the ear. 
there's no stuffing in the ear you do not need stuffing for the ear so the ear will look like this so when you sew you just bend it a bit they're gonna look like this here you move it a bit so that the blue you won't see this purple so much you move it upwards like this before you sew so you're gonna look like this so you make two of it I guess since I'm still using the uh, blue yarn I might as well make the uh, hoodie or the scarf or the hanky you know the handkerchief that is tied around its neck so we do a triangle shape for that so before we start we're gonna leave a, l a slightly long tail then we start we'll make a knot okay this is just my habit of making a knot so once you have a knot you chain five one two three four five after you chain five you do the second chain from the hook this is the first this is the second you go to the second chain from the hook you do a single crochet and you do a single crochet into the next stitch and we're going to do it two together in the next two we're going to make the last two stitch become one so once you have three on your hook you put through all three you chain one turn your work and just make a two together chain one and pull tight and you have a triangle like this so here I'm gonna cut the yarn and I'm going to make my way up here my way back to this corner here so here you're gonna have a triangle shape you can actually add it now if you want instead of tying it around the neck I'm gonna sew it here oops I got the wrong yarn <laughs> Okay. Okay, this side. It should be somewhere here. This one can just go to the back. Instead of making some stitches here, you don't have two. I just make one here and one here, and you poke it back inside here. And by the time you add your head here, you will not be able to see this. If you want, you can crochet some blue color here, which I don't think I need. 
just tie a knot here tie a knot and leave the rest inside the hip I mean inside the body or you can just cut it away So I still have some tail here in case later I see that I might need to make a few stitches to make it like blue color make the blue visible so this one you can actually open up like this and just leave it as it is now okay now we're gonna proceed to make the head the whole head is uh, purple in color the eyes and the mouth part are white patch so I'm gonna make the head first you're going to start off by making a magic ring you curl it around your finger and make a knot okay, once you have a knot you make eight single crochet into the magic ring one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, two, four, six, eight. Okay, eight single crochet into the magic ring, and then go to the first stitch. If you still do not know where's the first stitch, you come back from the hook count the v-shape here so you go to the first stitch and you start to do increase and let me add a marker increase means two single crochet into the same stitch so which means this row we should have 16 stitches Okay, 16 stitches in this row so now for row 3 row 3 we're gonna do a single crochet followed by an increase you do one single crochet and you're gonna do increase increase means two single crochet into the same stitch so you're going to do single crochet, increase, single crochet, increase. You should have 8 sets of it and by the time you come back here, you should have 24 stitches. Okay, row 4. Row 4, we're going to do 2 single crochet followed by an increase. Oops. Okay, we're going to do two single crochet, or I should say single crochet in the next two. This is one, two, increase. So you should do one, two, increase, one, two, increase. You should have 8 sets and by the time you come back here, you should have 32 stitches. Now row 5, we're going to do single crochet all around. Oh, wait, let me get this right first. Okay, we're going to do single crochet all around means 
single crochet in one single crochet in every stitch so by the time you come back here you will still have 32 stitches okay now for row six row six we're gonna do single crochet in the next three followed by an increase so this is one two three increase one two three increase and you're gonna do eight sets of it and by the time you come back here you should have 40 stitches okay now for row seven and row eight we're gonna do single crochet all around just one single crochet in every stitch so the total number of stitch will be the same 40 single crochet or 40 stitches so I'll come back to you once I'm at the end of row 8 okay now row 9 we're going to do 4 single crochet followed by an increase or single crochet in the next 4 so this is 1 2 3 4 and you do an increase and you do 4 single crochet increase so you should have 8 sets of it and by the time you come back here you should have 48 stitches okay now for row 10 and 11 you're gonna do single crochet all around means one single crochet in every stitch so when you come back here you should have 48 stitches so I'll come back to you once I'm at the end of row 11. Okay, now row 12, we're going to do 5 single crochet followed by an increase. Or I should say single crochet in the next 5. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, five followed by an increase five single crochet increase so you should have eight sets of it and by the time you come back here you should have 56 stitches okay for row 13 until row 15 you're just gonna do single crochet all around it means one single crochet in every stitch so which means you should have the same number of stitches that is 56 and I'll come back to you once I'm at the end of row 15 okay next row row 16 we're gonna start to do decrease so we're gonna do five single crochet followed by a decrease or should I say single crochet in the next five so this is one two three four five and you do a decrease the decrease is actually uh, two together I'm doing the invisible decrease so I'm going to use the front loop and the front loop I'm gonna yarn over two and two so it's up to you which two together you're comfortable with so you're gonna do five single crochet followed by a two together so you're gonna do eight sets of it so eight sets by the time you come back here you should have 48 stitches okay now we're gonna go to row 17 row 17 i'm gonna do four single crochet oh sorry single crochet in the next four followed by a decrease it's gonna be a decrease row all the way so this is one two three four four single crochet followed by a decrease four single crochet decrease so you should have eight sets of it and by the time you come back here you should have 40 stitches now for row 18 you're gonna do three uh, sorry single crochet in the next three
One, two, three, followed by a decrease or a two together. So you do three single crochet, two together, and you should have eight sets of eight. And by the time you come back here, you should have 32 stitches. Okay, before I continue with the head, I want to do the eyes first. I'm going to do two eye patch here and the mouth patch. It's kind of like a patch. So I'm going to sew it here before I attach the safety eyes and the mouth here. So I'm going to use a white yarn. Let me do the one of the eye. You start off by, oh sorry, no, uh, you start with chain 7, it's not a magic ring, it's chain 7. Okay, this is just my habit of making a knot. After you have this knot, you chain 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. After you chain 7, you go to the second chain from the hook. This is the hook, this is the first chain, this is the second chain. You go to the second chain from the hook. You start to do single crochet in the next five. So you have one, two, three, five so single crochet in the next five after this single crochet I'm gonna do an increase in the last stitch here you do an increase oops let me do that again Oh yeah, you should put your hook here so that you have two strands on top and one strand at the bottom. You should do increase. Increase means two single crochet into the same stitch. So this is one. And by the time you do two, you would have turned your work. So this is two. So after two single crochet into the same stitch, we're going to do four single crochet or single crochet in the next four. One, two, three, four. Okay, after you have single crochet in the next four. We're going to do increase. Here we're going to do increase. Increase means two single crochet into the same stitch. After you do increase, we're going to do six single crochet. One, two, three. Four, five, six. After this six single crochet, we're gonna do three increase. Increase means two single crochet into the same stitch. So this is one increase. To increase three increase after this three increase I'm gonna do four single crochet one two Three, four. After this four single crochet, I'm gonna do increase. 
increase means two single crochet into the same stitch and after this I'm going to do single crochet in the next six one two three four five six after you do single crochet in the next six you're gonna do three sets of single crochet increase single crochet increase single crochet increase so single crochet increase is one set you're gonna do three sets of it okay single crochet increase one set single crochet increase second set single crochet increase third set after these three sets I'm gonna do six single crochet I'm oh, sorry, sorry single crochet in the next six one two three four five six so after this you just slip stitch to the next you chain one make sure you leave a long tail or sewing and you're gonna make two of it okay, you're gonna look like this okay now we're gonna make the mouthpiece you're gonna start by making a chain okay you make a knot this is just my habit of making a knot once you have a knot you chain 13 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So once you have a chain thirteen, you go to the second chain from the hook. This is the hook. This is the first stitch. This is the second stitch. You go to the second stitch from the hook and we start to do single crochet. So we're gonna do single crochet in the next 11. So one, two, three. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. By the time you have eleven single crochet, you will reach the last stitch here. In this last stitch, you do an increase. Make sure you hook your hook here so that you have two strands on top and one strand at the bottom. You do increase. Increase means two single crochet into the same stitch. So that's one. And now two. Two single crochet into the same stitch. So once I make two single crochet into the same stitch, I kind of turn my work. Now I'm going to do single crochet in the next 10 stitch. One, two, three. Four, five, six, 
six. Oops. Let me get this right first. After this, one, two, three, four. single crochet here after this 10 single crochet I'm gonna do an increase increase means two single crochet into this last the tip here so two single crochet or increase so now we're going to slip stitch to the next and we're gonna chain one right let me see again oops Okay, sorry here, this is the last stitch. Do increase here. And I'm gonna slip stitch to the first stitch here. And chain one. This is the first starting stitch. So I'm gonna chain one. So after we chain one, we're gonna do increase. In this stitch, we're gonna do increase. Increase means two single crochet into the same stitch. Then after this increase, I'm going to do single crochet in the next ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, and by that time you did ten stitches, you will have come to this turning here. Here we're gonna do three increase in one, two, three, three increase. Two increase, three increase. Oops, okay, three increase. So this turning here, we have three increase. So after this three increase, I'm gonna do single crochet into the next ten stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. So after this uh, ten single crochet in the next ten, we're gonna do two increase. We did one in the starting, so now I've got two more. So this is one increase. Oops. And this is the second increase. I'm gonna slip stitch to the first one here and I'm gonna chain one. 
So now I'm going to do one single crochet and one increase. After this single crochet and increase, I'm going to do a single crochet in the next 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, By the time you reach 10, you should be at the turning here. So the turning here, we're going to do 3 sets of single crochet increase, single crochet increase, single crochet increase. So I'm going to do single crochet increase. You do 3 sets of it. Single crochet. Increase, single crochet, increase. Okay, and after this, I'm going to do single crochet in the next ten. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So after this ten single crochet, we're going to do two sets of single crochet increase. Single crochet, increase, single crochet, increase. And we're going to come back here. So we're going to slip stitch to the next one here. Oops, it's too tight. Let me do that again. Slip stitch, chain one. So now we're gonna do five uh, single crochet in the next five. One, two, three, four, five, and we're gonna do a two together. And then we're going to do single crochet in the next two. And we're going to do a two together. And we're going to do single crochet in the next seven. One, two, three, four. Six, seven. After this single crochet in the next seven, we're gonna do an increase. Increase means two single crochet into the same stitch, and then we're gonna do single crochet in the next sixteen. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16. 
So after this 16, I'm going to do increase, just one increase. And you're going to do single crochet in the next two. And this is how the mouth would look like. So you're going to slip stitch to the next chain one and make sure you leave a long tail for sewing so you're gonna sew this onto the head 